Canadians feel like they're losing control of their lives. We've seen that the price of housing has risen from about $450,000 for the average home up to $836,000, which means we have 35-year-old men and women living in their mom and dad's basements because they can't afford a house. Single mothers have their hearts miss a beat while they walk down the grocery aisle trying to pay the price of a nutritious basket of groceries for their kids. We have almost half of Canadians saying that they struggle to buy groceries. Four in five of them have said that they have reduced the quality or quantity of their diet because food has become so expensive. And then, of course, there's the price of gas. We see here a buck fifty-six a liter. Some experts say that could rise to two dollars a liter. These are the these price increases as a res, are the result of Justin Trudeau's inflationist deficits and taxes that are driving up the cost of living on everyday Canadians. Liberal Prime Minister Trudeau and former Liberal Premier Jean Charest believe in higher taxes on consumers. Both of them raised taxes on consumers to make life less affordable for everyday working people and to raise more money for politicians like them to spend. I disagree with Charest and Trudeau. I believe we should leave more money in the pockets of Canadians. I also believe that fighting climate change is about technology not taxes, results, and not revenue. That's why my government will introduce plans that will incentivize carbon-reducing technologies like that, which is being uh, uh, piloted and implemented right here in Saskatchewan, carbon capture and storage, putting the carbon right back under the ground where it came from. Other technologies will also encourage uh, efforts to defeat climate change. My plan will allow provinces to pursue their own approach without forcing them to impose devastating taxes on every day. I also agree that we should put Canadians here back in charge of their own lives. Um, and I disagree, that is why I disagree with uh, Jean Charest and Justin Trudeau, who raised taxes on consumers and made life more expensive for everyday taxpayers in their respective jurisdictions. My approach will be the exact opposite. And that is why I'm announcing today that a polyef government will make life more affordable by eliminating the federal carbon tax on gas, heat, and groceries. Scrapping the carbon tax will reduce the cost of living. It will mean small businesses will have more money to hire workers and provide affordable goods for their people. And it will allow us to, to, to recenter our fo the focus of environmental policy onto real results, not revenue, and onto technology rather than taxes. We are going to stop uh, inflationary money printing, phase out the deficit, and unleash the free enterprise system so that we can produce more of the goods and services that Canadians need. In other words, instead of creating more cash, we're going to create more of what cash buys grow more nutritious food, build more affordable houses, and deliver more affordable, clean, green Canadian energy. In other words, make more, cost less, with paychecks, not debt. We Finally, we are going to make Canada the freest country on earth so that Canadians can take back control of their lives. Thank you very much. Here, here. Here, here. Right on.